This is, uh, I think, the third night we've been trying to get in contact with Biggie Smalls. There's the same energy in the area that uh, was here when Tupac was here. Biggie, are you here with us tonight? I can't really make out any of the messages coming through right now. I can definitely hear a spirit coming through and using the device. Christopher Wallace, Biggie Smalls, is this you trying to use the device? Is this you coming through? There's static. Yeah, I know we've been having problems lately with uh, the static on the device. Your fans have been begging to hear from you, Biggie. A lot of people have been wanting us to ask more questions like, uh, what is it like around you, where you are, and stuff like that. So can, can you start off by coming through and just telling us what the afterlife looks like for you? very interesting. Is it a lot like uh, life here, Biggie? Is it still the same on the other side? Biggie, have you been up to the light yet? I remember Tupac said he was staying behind. Have you decided to do the same or have you gone up already? Biggie, what was it that uh, you and Tupac had come through talking about? It was all choppy last time you were here, but from uh, what I was able to make out from the footage, it seemed like you were recalling an event of some kind on the other side. What was all of that about, Biggie? Can you tell us? <laughs> Tupac, is that Tupac's voice coming through right now? I could feel the same faint energy in the room earlier on as when Tupac was here, but I thought it, it could have just been you, Biggie, because I know you were in the area. Biggie, I tried to call out to Tupac, but I don't think he's responding right now. How would you describe your relationship with Tupac? I know that Tupac had said that you guys had buried the past, but you came through interjecting, saying something along the lines of, uh, the streets still remember. <laughs> What did that mean, Biggie? Is the past truly buried between you and Tupac? Biggie, do you have any past beefs that you've put behind you in the afterlife aside from Tupac that you'd like to tell your fans about? doing an amazing job, Biggie. Do 
do you still rap on the other side, Biggie? We've had some mixed answers come through over time suggesting that some spirits can't rap on the other side. Biggie, do you have any messages that you'd like to give to your kids? If I remember correctly, I think you had two kids. Biggie, how has your perspective changed on things like success and fame? I know that many people that have uh, had near-death experiences have said that their ego has dissolved and they felt a sense of unity. What's your perspective on fame and success, Biggie? I can tell by your energy that you're just such a bright spirit on the other side. Could you come through and tell us, Biggie, what's the most beautiful thing that uh, you've either seen or experienced in the afterlife? Biggie, what would you say to your fans who continue to support your music and uh, keep your memory alive? Biggie, how do you view your music's impact on future generations of artists and fans? Biggie, are you still collaborating with other artists in the music world? Well, Biggie, you've come through so well tonight, and it wasn't even that hard to get in contact with you to begin with. Thank you so much for sticking around, and if you can, can you please let Tupac know that his fans want to hear from him again. There were some questions that we forgot to ask him last time, and I know you two seem to be pretty close with one another. <laughs> Alright, Biggie. Thank you so much for coming through. Do you have any last messages to all your loving fans and the world watching? Piggy, are you still here with us? I know you're still trying to come through. I can still hear you. Thank you, Biggie, so much for coming through.